Hi everyone, this is Marianne and welcome to my channel. I just wanted to share with you this idea. This idea belongs to Joanne, which she published or posted in one of the Facebook groups that I am a member of. She was looking for suggestions on how to overlay two different schedules on two different semi-transparent sheets on top of one schedule page on her planner. So that's three different sheets layered together and two of them will be uh, on uh, semi-transparent paper. Anyway, I super loved Joanne's idea so I eventually ended up making my own overlay. I still had some sheets of tracing paper left from when I did my transformer planner covers. I have a video of that process and I will leave a link in the description box. This schedule on the semi-transparent tracing paper is the daily routine that I want to implement for myself because I have until January 15 to complete two major projects at the same time and I really need to time block for them. The, the actual deadline is January 15, but I want to submit two weeks early. So I really need to time block for them. And the time blocks are huge because those two projects require deep work. So you have to time block that and really concentrate during those times that you have assigned to them. And because of that, I thought I might as well incorporate them into a daily routine, which will include journaling, in the morning, personal reading at night, and some movement in the middle of the day just to set the tone at the beginning of the day and then wind down at the end of the day, you know, like an actual daily routine for the purpose of getting me into the groove of doing deep work. I did put in some free time on there as well because there is a limit to the number of hours we can devote to deep work. This sheet is sized exactly to go over the 24 hour time tracking box on the daily pages on my planner. I am using the day on two pages like I have been on for several years now. I have always used the day on two pages that I designed for myself. I just tweak them as some changes in my lifestyle require. And I have a video about how I plan and I will also leave a link to that in the description box in case you're interested. So this here is the finished sheet that is already cut down to size. To hole punch this, I need to sandwich this between two sheets of scrap paper. Because in my experience with this Happy Planner Punch, if I punch just one or two sheets of paper at the same time, the holes don't come out cleanly. The holes are punched, but there are some bits of paper remaining and it's really, really annoying. But if I put in three sheets at the same time, then the holes come out really well. And finally, I can now put this overlay on my planner. This goes here. This overlay will be a constant reminder of the daily routine that I am trying to develop in myself in order to complete my two major projects. And it goes over right on top of my 24 hour time tracking box so that when the actual time tracking matches what should happen as printed on the overlay, I will get an additional sense of satisfaction because I was able to do what I have set out to do for the day. I suffer from insomnia and it's a struggle to stick to a schedule. But because I have deadlines, I cannot go through my days willy-nilly. There has to be a schedule. And I was thinking if this daily routine can help, you know, normalize my sleep disorder, it can, if it can help me get rid of my insomnia, then that's a good effect. Well, turns out it did not really happen that way. But anyway, here's a closer look. This is the overlay and you can see right through it to the page underneath it. The handwritten entries on the tracking box here should match up with the information printed on the overlay. After an entire week of trying, I found I couldn't deal with with that schedule. That is for normal people, <laughs> people without a sleep disorder of some kind, without insomnia. I always end up 
waking up at 2 a.m. or thereabouts and I could not get back to sleep. So I decided why not adjust this daily routine to be more considerate of my actual reality as an insomniac. So that's what I did. I moved up the journaling and thesis work to 3 a.m. And that blank space after that can be for going back to sleep or for errands, depending on what I need. The afternoons and evenings would be the same as on the first overlay that I did. And this is not even set in stone. At the bottom, I have instructions to myself for how to deal with the scheduling of errands and other matters that could disrupt the daily routine. I prefer to go out of the house for errands and medical matters in the mid to late afternoon because by then it won't be so hot anymore and also because I usually go back to sleep at around 8 or 9 in the morning. But I can be flexible. It all depends on what the day needs. And it depends on the urgency of the errand or the matter that has to be dealt with. And this is what I have been doing since the 12th of September. And I have not been able to stick to it 100%, but I'm getting there. I'm working on it. So thank you so, so much to Joanne for this fabulous idea. I love it. It works so well for me. Well, not so well, but it's helping me a lot. A lot, lot, lot. And... This is an idea that you can also use for your own planning system. You can tweak as much as you like. I hope you found this video helpful. Are you going to try this out? Please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye.